Once again in front, dictating proceedings. Sakuli and Kimeli and so As we see the rest of the field straggling back. It's very deceptive, obviously, seeing the lap times here. The pace is very deceptive. It's a deep maintained but a very high pace, but a steady one as well. Through the leading runners, yes, it's a leading group of six confirmed. Benvik now starting to slip back, so too Caro. Senov back in 14th, that's a pity. After the fantastic run of Melitza Echeva just a short while ago, he's not having the best of days. Starting to get very muddy in part of these courses. See for yourself, it's in front of your eyes, it's going to be inches deep when we get to the senior races later on this afternoon. So it's still Callum Hawking from Great Britain leading the way. Safulin now, who seems to be at the back of the pack, just struggling very slightly. I'm just sensing we don't have detailed splits other than the lap times. I'm just sensing that Hawkins has cranked up the pace just a bit. Got his second win. I thought he was going to start drifting off the back there. So food in the tall Russian. Looks as though he's picked it up once again. Look at him, Maximov there, also in that leading back for Russia. Looking as though it's Hay at the back who's the man who's actually starting to struggle in sixth place there. Hawking, Nikitin, Kimeli, Maximov, and Safulin. That's the one, two, three, four, five. Well. Good to see someone making the transition from junior to under 23. This category, of course, introduced as a trial race, effectively, in 2006, became an official gold medal winning event the following year to help European athletes they plunge straight into the deep end after they leave the junior ranks and end up against senior competition. It's been an overwhelming success, I think. Most federations now are represented in these under 23 races. Leaders to the Russians for their fourth scorer, their fifth scorer, they're both outside the top 20 in the last time check, so that title may improve if they get it. Go on to a chance of gold medal. Well, now, close to the last kilometre. So we've got 1.1 kilometers to go. And suddenly, Isaac Kimeli just looks very tired. The three Russians, Safulin, Nikitin, and Maximov. Well, there's a bit of bounce in their legs. Callum Hawking is responding to their challenge, doing a good job. So it's looking as though the medals are going to be decided amongst these four men. It looks like Nikitin actually really starting to work hard at the front there. The three Russians are away, they're flying. Hawkins has got to get back up with them. 
can't afford to be left at this stage. He doesn't look as though he's got any response. And now look at Safulin. Safulin's gone to the front. He's really starting to head for home. He's laying down the gauntlet to his teammates. Well, we've seen clean sweeps in other categories, but never before has there been a clean sweep in the under-23 men's race. But those three Russians are looking very, very good at the moment. And of course, that's reflected in the team standings. 23 points to Russia, 29 points to Great Britain. They're the gold and silver medalists at the moment. A long way back to Sweden in third place with France in fourth. As far as the team standings are concerned. So Safulin then, we've seen him so often at European events. He's also the World Student Games 3,000 meter steeplechase champion. And he's really going for home now. Really, really working hard. It's Nikitin, that rather hunched figure behind him, who's the closest challenger out of his two teammates. Maximov starting to drift back just a little bit. So going up this hill for the final time, it's Safulin. Making his way back into second place there, Nikitin now in third. And a bit of a distance back to Callum Hawkins in fourth. Well, Safulin, 8.20 steeple chaser. He's proven his worth all across country at European events in the past. Not on the for European junior champions to move up and become under 23 champions and really now he's starting to motor it's going to be Ilzagar Sifulin I think who's going to take the gold medal barring an accident it's going to be a Russian 1-2-3 by the looks of it he can now see the finish line in sight it's Ilzagar Sifulin who's on his way to his second gold medal at European Cross Country Championships. Ilzagar Safulin from Russia takes the gold medal. He's the men's under 23 winner. Igor Maximum of the silver. Vladimir Nikitin, the bronze. A clean sweep for Russia there. 1 2 3. Johnny Hay came through very strongly there in fourth place. As Callum Hawkins started to flag. They come from Sweden. Possibly leading Sweden to the medal podium as well in the team competition. That's subject to confirmation as we flip through here in the top ten. Two Swedes in the top ten. I think though that's Russia taking the team gold medals with Strelkov finishing ten. And that last lap for a fantastic 321. By far the quickest lap we've seen for any, any of the races so far. I think the worst conditions point that one. 20 seconds quicker than the previous lap, and that's why it's the mission for it. Yes, we were musing, musing at a quiet point in proceedings there about what uh, the Bulgarian hope Niko Zenov could actually do as a steeplechaser. But maybe we should be looking at him even as one of the leaders of the European hopes over the barriers in the future. He is the World Student Games champion. Uh, this will be his last year. It's his last year as number 23. He moves up to a senior. He's an 20 man at the moment. Um, I'm very interested to see what he's going to be able to do on the track. And this, of course, as we talk so often, cross country is the fundamental starting point for all distance races. The European Cross Country Championships have been a fantastic innovation to help European distance running in the 1990s and over the course of the last decade. And we're seeing people like Ilzegar Safulin, well, it's a long stretch to talk about him challenging the dominant Kenyans over the barriers on the track in the summer. But I think he might be a man we're looking forward to, casting forward to 2016, as possibly a long-term shot at a medal or even a gold medal at the next European Championships, which will be in Amsterdam. We have seen European athletes challenged the Kenyans in this different chance at the end, and the men's obviously met this season very exciting talent that's got in amongst the Kenyans on many occasions. Yes, he tends to pick his races, does uh, 
Mayor Dean McKissie been about. Uh, he does uh, obviously, as you rightly say, challenge the Kenyans now and then. So, rare outing, so for the Barrows. Hopefully, you can see him at this event.